Welcome to Dawn's Life. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about 10 things wrong with our Cadillac Escalade. Number one, the air suspension system. Uh, so in this case here, the air shocks were intermittently leaking. I uh, did have them checked out a couple times. What made us know they were leaking? Well, the air compressor would kick on uh, multiple times within say a 15, 20 minute period. Uh, a little excessive. Um, you should hear it when it does kick on. Still, it's very quiet, um, but it was more than we should hear. As you can see, they've weathered uh, excessively over the last three years. That's just the casing though, so internally they're probably fine. Um, but we tow our boat, um, doesn't seem to be a problem too much then. Um, however, we just have to live with it unless it gets worse. Problem number two, the reverse camera system. Once in a while, doesn't seem to matter on the weather. It could be really cold, could be really hot. Uh, you go to put it in reverse, and instead of seeing the regular image that you would see here, you get this terrible distorted image just for the rear camera. Uh, here's a still image showing what it looks like. Don't know why this happens, but it's hard to replicate. Problem number three, the Cadillac Q Bluetooth connection system. We have uh, my wife's phone, my phone, paired with the Cadillac Q system for some reason or another, even if it's just one of us in proximity to the vehicle, it will not see the device, even though the phone says it's connected, uh, the stereo itself does not. Um, so you can go through the pair sequence again, or just shut the vehicle off and turn it back on, and if you're lucky, it'll be reconnected. Problem number four, the steering wheel controls. Uh, this has only happened once or twice for me, a few times for my wife in the course of three to four years, but you'll start the vehicle and the controls will illuminate, but none of them will work. After restarting the vehicle, usually uh, comes back to life and everything's back to normal. Problem number five, the blank infotainment screen. This one's really strange. It's only happened a few times over the years, just turning the vehicle on and the center console screen uh, doesn't show any information. Turn it off, turn it back on, seems to be fine. The strangest is how it'll do this when the vehicle's locked and closed and just the screen will light up. We were camping last year and about two or 3 a.m. I just, for whatever reason, looked out the camper window and this glow was coming out of the truck. I thought somebody was breaking into it, but it turned out it was just the screen turning itself on for maybe 20 minutes. Problem number six, rear axle seepage. This has happened three times. So this happened every time that we went in for an oil change service, which, uh, through the Cadillac purchase was a complimentary oil change when needed. And uh, upon their inspections, they would see that the rear diff seal was seeping, not really a, a drip, but just, uh, you know, some seepage along the seal. So they would book us in for a replacement, fix it up as good as new. It lasts uh, six months or so and do it again. I guess it's a common problem. Problem number seven, cracked radiator. Yeah, we had a crack where one of the hoses connects to the actual radiator itself. Uh, they noticed it. We didn't have any uh, drips on the driveway or any puddles. They noticed it when it was in for an oil change. Uh, they might have had one in stock if I recall correctly. Either way, they swapped it out, didn't take them too long, and uh, it's running good as new. No problem since, and I'm pretty happy they noticed it and took care of that one. Problem number eight. An exhaust rattle. So this problem here lasted about a year and a half, maybe two years. When we'd accelerate at low RPM, you would get a rattle at the back rear passenger side of the vehicle. I was able to finally get a decent audio clip so I could prove to the service technicians that there was a problem. Uh, they agreed, they replicated it, and they ordered a brand new exhaust and uh, just installed it in the last couple months. So. It worked out good, uh, but a little annoying. Problem number nine, the console slide clip. 
So in the center console you have this little door that slides open and uh, if you push it again it should slide itself closed. Unfortunately the little clip in behind uh, can sometimes get a little stretched or disfigured. Either way the door won't stay uh, open and just pushes shut from the spring. That happened once before I took it apart, put it back together, reseated that clip and it was fine. Uh, but now to try and get that clip on its own and I've searched all over the internet. Usually you have to buy the whole assembly which obviously I don't need. Um, so if anybody's watching this video and knows how to get a hold of just the clip itself, uh, please uh, send me a comment, send me a message, let me know, and uh, I need to track one down. Problem number 10, and this one is still ongoing, considered a current event, uh, the transmission temperature sensor. Uh, so this one here was only evident because the check engine light went off when my wife was driving to go get some groceries. Um, so she went inside, got the groceries, came back out, started it up, and the check engine light was still there. She brought it home to me. Uh, again, I double checked, and sure enough, the check engine light was still showing at the bottom right hand corner. Shortly after going through all of this, my wife gets an email from OnStar letting her know that indeed there is an issue and it needs to be uh, looked up at the dealership. So I pull up my Bluetooth uh, ODB2 port scanner and uh, decide that I'm gonna see what codes it shows, if any, um, and then we'll still take it to the dealership and we'll have them remedy it. So I connect it to my phone, get the app going, run it just to see why the check engine light is on. It doesn't take too long to find out that there's two main codes, 700 and 7011. Um, these codes are related to the transmission um, temperature sensor and control system. Um, both can be fixed relatively easy, but it needs a, a part from what I understand. So we take it to the dealership, and this is where I decided that, you know what, I'm gonna record all of this, and I just wanna see what the outcome is, and I'll share it with you folks. But because it's not resolved yet, it will be a second video, so make sure you uh, subscribe, keep your notifications on, so you can see the result. Now this is where things get interesting. Uh, if you look at the time difference, they really didn't do anything with the vehicle. I don't even think they rescanned it. They just parked it outside. But they called my wife several hours later, several hours, saying it's not fixed and you can come pick it up until they get the part. But because my wife was going to Edmonton the next day, which is a city about five hours away from where we are, um, they should have the part in stock. You should try booking it with them. So a little annoyed, that's what we decided to do. Um, my wife calls a dealership in Edmonton. They think they might have the part, but they're not sure. Um, they finally get back to her and say, yep, yeah, they, they do have it and they book her in for a later date. Uh, circumstances change though, and my wife had to come back early and had to cancel the Edmonton appointment. Um, so now we do have the part on order, but instead of ordering the one we have on hold in Edmonton, they're ordering the part from somewhere in the United States. So we'll catch up on the next video and see how this uh, gets resolved. Okay, here's a summary of the 10 problems we've had with this Escalade. We've had problems with the air suspension uh, leaking and the compressor kicking on far too often. Uh, we've had problems with the reverse camera being distorted. We've had the Cadillac Cube Bluetooth system uh, not reliably connect to our devices sometimes. Uh, same with steering wheel control sometimes being non-responsive. We've had the blank infotainment screen issue. Uh, we have rear axle seepage from time to time, so we've had at least three times, uh, each time noticed during oil change services. We had a cracked radiator that was replaced. We had an exhaust rattle um, that was so intermittent it was hard to diagnose, but finally got the whole exhaust replaced. I'm still dealing with this console slide clip. Uh, this little piece is tough to find. And we have the transmission temperature sensor error. So again, this is gonna be in a future video. So please uh, subscribe to this one and uh, you'll be seeing the next ones. All right, that concludes today's video. If you liked it, hit that like button. Please subscribe and we'll talk to you later.